Welcome to this episode of Mentors at Your Benchside, a bitesizebio.com podcast bringing you advice, tips and tools for getting the most out of your research. I'm Nick Oswald and today I'll be talking about the best Drosophila gene names ever. As you know, Drosophila melanogaster, aka the fruit fly, is an ideal model organism for geneticists. Researchers love them because they can be genetically manipulated quickly and effects can be observed easily. When I started out in research, I loved learning the Drosophila gene names. The names picked by researchers tend to relate to a physiological or physical attribute caused by the mutant gene, and they can get pretty creative and stray into comic genius sometimes. Here are my top 14 favourites in order of cleverness and comedy value. At number 14, it's Hedgehog. This gene is a Drosophila segment polarity gene involved in patterning and growth in a number of Drosophila organisms. Mutant larvae have an excess of denticles along their anterior-posterior axis, which are reminiscent of a hedgehog's spines, hence hedgehog. Number 13, it's Swiss cheese. Flies with the Swiss cheese mutation develop normally as larvae, but experience glial hyperwrapping and brain degeneration in pupil and adult life stages which ultimately leads to reduced lifespan. The brains of mutant flies are full of holes, known as vacuoles, much like Swiss cheese. Number 12, it's BOSS, the bride of sevenless. The BOSS gene encodes a cell surface receptor tyrosine kinase, which helps in photoreceptor development in the Drosophila compound eye. Cells in flies with a BOSS gene mutation fail to differentiate into a specific photoreceptor cell type called an R7 cell, which is one of the eight photoreceptors that make up the Drosophila compound eye. The bride of sevenless is the ligand that binds to sevenless, and thus it's married to it. How romantic. Number 11. Dachshund. The Dachshund gene encodes a nuclear protein that is required for normal development of the Drosophila eye and leg. Mutations in this gene result in flies of shortened legs, thus resembling cute little dachshunds. Number 10. It's 18-wheeler. This gene encodes a toll-like receptor with mutations resulting in defects in salivary gland invagination. This Drosophila gene gets its name from the segmented gene expression pattern, which looks like a tarpaulin covering an 18-wheeler truck, according to its imaginative discoverers. 9. Van Gogh, or is it Van Gogh? Van Gogh is a tissue polarity gene and mutations affect the polarity of adult Drosophila cuticular structures. This results in the swirling of hair on the wing, which looks similar to Van Gogh's style of painting. This name obviously came from a very cultured lab. Number 8. It's Clown. The Clown gene is important in development, and flies carrying mutations in this gene have an altered neuronal differentiation pattern. The number of pigment cells increases in clown mutants, which means that their eyes are a mosaic of white and red. Personally, I wish they had called this one Pennywise. Talking of which, number seven, it's the Halloween genes. This set of Drosophila genes encode P450 enzymes that are involved in the synthesis of steroid hormones and include the ghost, spook, shadow, Shade, Shroud, Disembodied, Mummy, and Phantom genes. Halloween gene mutations cause the exoskeleton to develop abnormally. Flies with the mutation in Disembodied, for example, have no differentiation between head and skeleton and cuticle. Ultimately, the fly embryos die. Number six, it's Tin Man. Lots of Drosophila genes take their names from literature, and the Tin Man gene encodes a transcription factor which is involved in the formation of heart and dorsal vascular musculature. So flies with mutations in this gene have no heart, just like the poor old tin man from Oz. There's no place like home. Number five, dreadlocks. The dreadlocks gene encodes an adapter protein that is involved in targeting and photoreceptor axon guidance. The R cell projections in dreadlock gene mutants are disorganized, first fanning out and then clumping together, just like dreadlocks. Number four, it's Indy, and that stands for I'm Not Dead Yet. 
the Indy gene encodes for an intermediate plasma membrane transporter protein in the Krebs cycle. Some studies have shown that flies with mutations in this gene have longer than average lifespans. However, these findings have been contested, with some reports suggesting that the mutation doesn't result in increased longevity when genetic background effects are removed. Still, they're keeping the name. I'm not dead yet. And number three, getting into the top three here. Number three is Lush. Flies with the mutant Lush gene are unusually attracted to ethanol, propanol, and butanol, but have normal chemosensory responses to other odorants. Ethanol is the most abundant alcohol in the fermenting plant matter on which Drosophila feed and lay their eggs, but high levels of exposure to ethanol can cause intoxication and death. It's thought that lush is required to help flies avoid dangerously high levels of alcohol. I know quite a few people who could do with overexpression of that gene. Number two, Ken and Barbie. This gene encodes a putative transcription factor that functions in terminalia development in the fruit fly. Mutations in this gene result in fruit flies that lack external genitalia, just like the good old Ken and Barbie dolls you used to play with as a kid. Don't deny it, I know you did. And now, the number one best fruit fly gene name ever. It's Cheap Date. Flies with a mutation in this gene are extremely susceptible to alcohol. So they're being used by researchers to investigate genetic factors that influence alcoholism in humans. Flies exposed to ethanol tend to exhibit similar behaviors to drunken humans and rodents. Cheap date is a mutant allele of the amnesiac gene, which causes memory impairment. Going by the name choice, cheap date, I think that the Christmas or other observed holiday celebration in the lab that discovered and named this gene could be an interesting experience. There are lots more quirky gene names, Hamlet, Kryptonite, Mothers Against Drosophila, but the process of naming Drosophila genes has come under scrutiny when human genes are named identically for their Drosophila homologues or orthologs. For example, some of the gene names can cause malformations in humans, and in such cases, the gene names can seem offensive or insensitive. So, Lunatic Fringe is now known as LFNG, and Sonic Hedgehog as SHH, for example. For more information on gene nomenclature in humans, you can check out the Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee website. Having said that, the tradition of naming Drosophila genes for a, a physical or physiological attribute arguably makes those genes more memorable for researchers, and certainly for me. I hope you enjoyed this rundown of the best Drosophila gene names ever as much as I did. Please be sure to check out the episode description for links to related articles, references, and resources relating to all of these genes. And don't forget to subscribe to the Mentors at Your Benchside podcast in your favorite podcast service to get more help and advice from mentors at your benchside.